for joy at the work of your hands. Forever I love you, forever I stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you. We thank you. Hallelujah. We worship you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus. Worship you, Lord. The Lord is here. the son of god decided to come down he decided to come down to look at everyone with mercy in his eyes whenever jesus looked at anyone mercy flowed out as spirit he could not look into the eyes of anyone no one could see him but god decided to come down in material form with eyes to look at everyone with compassion that they may experience the mercy of god and the gospels tell us how he looked wherever jesus went his eyes were searching for someone in pain in the synagogue there was a young man with a withered hand jesus looked at him with compassion and said stand up reach your hand out to me and he was healed there were many on that sabbath in that synagogue but Jesus looked at him this man in misery on the way a man cried out Bartimaeus cried out son of david have mercy on me everybody said what are you doing sit down jesus cannot hear you but jesus heard him and said called him and jesus looked at him looked at the one who cried out to him let your eyes be opened again on the way a woman from behind she could not come from front because she was suffering from a terrible disease hemorrhage a woman suffering from hemorrhage could not come anywhere near any man she came from behind and touched the tip of his garment jesus turned and looked at her and said to her your faith has saved you on the seashore in the sea while the disciples were frightened of the storm and the waves jesus looked at them and said why are you afraid today jesus has come to us in a material form of bread he is truly present this is my body Jesus said is truly present in the eucharistic bread in order 
my brother my sister to look at you and me with compassion as he looked on the cross at the good thief and said today you shall be with me in paradise look at jesus let the eyes of our heart be opened let the eyes of our faith be opened hear the voice of the lord this is my body to be broken for you look at him look at the eyes of jesus that are looking at you and pray this chaplet of divine mercy you expired jesus but the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for this whole world o fount of life unfathomable divine mercy envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus as a fount of mercy for us i trust, trust in, in you o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus as a fount of mercy for us i, I trust, trust in, in you o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus as a fount of mercy for us i, I trust, trust in, in you our father who art, art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy, thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth i believe in jesus christ his only son our lord he was conceived by the power of the holy spirit and born, born of the virgin mary he suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting amen in this first decade let us meditate on matthew chapter 9 verse 9 as jesus was passing by he looked at a man named matthew sitting at the customs office as jesus was passing by he looked at a man named matthew sitting at the customs office matthew has been sitting in that customs office by the side of the main highway where travelers and traders passed by all of them looked at matthew with contempt with anger because matthew was a tax collector tax collectors were considered the traitors enemies of the people they collected taxes from their own people the jews and they kept much of it and the rest they gave it to the roman empire the occupying force and therefore the people hated them and the tax collectors were particularly violent and arrogant and unjust everyone looked at matthew 
with contempt with anger with fear but jesus looked at him the first time matthew felt love compassion in the eyes of jesus and jesus called him come follow me a wonder a tax collector leaving all the tax books and tax money leaving it all with his friends he got up and followed jesus everyone looked at matthew and so a cruel unjust tax collector jesus looked at him and so a disciple an apostle a gospel writer through whom the word of jesus will reach the ends of the earth for all times to come and jesus made him his own my brother my sister jesus is looking at you a lot of people have looked at you with anger with indifference with fear despising you condemning you and all those looks are burned into your heart as a painful experience jesus is looking at you now to value you you are a child of god with a mission in this world to call you by name follow me let the look of jesus wash away all the fear all the sadness all the anger caused by people looking at you the wrong way jesus looking at you the right way a look of love and compassion it's a moment of healing look into the eyes of jesus eyes of jesus that are looking at you now to call you to give you a mission a meaning in life with that prayer let us pray the first decade Sorrowful 
mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful Our prayer is the prayer of the psalmist. Psalm 117, verse 18. Open my eyes, O Lord. Open my eyes, O Lord, to see clearly the wonders of your word. The wonders of the look of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. We worship you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you. We adore you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. There's a young man now looking at Jesus. Jesus looking at him. A young man with a complaint, abiding complaint in his heart. My father did not even look at me once with love, with tenderness. All I remember are his looks of anger and hatred. The Lord is washing away all those bitter memories from him. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise, Praise you, Father. You, Jesus. Hallelujah, Praise hallelujah. You, Jesus. Thank Praise you, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. hallelujah. Jesus. We bless Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. You, Lord. We worship you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There's a wife here, a wife here with a sadness in her heart. My husband never looks at me with love and tenderness. He looks at me despising me with contempt. I don't look at him anymore because I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing the angry looks comparing me with other women. Jesus is looking at her with great love, with great compassion, calling her, inviting her to look at the face of Jesus and find her power of love in him. Hallelujah. 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 Praise, Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Father. Thank, Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Bless, Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Praise Praise you, Praise you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank Thank you Lord. Lord. Let us look at Jesus. I said, Thomas the Apostle looked at him and called him my Lord and my God. Worshipping the Lord, now looking at us, we want to sing together, O Lord, my God. O Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder conceive.
is how great the word how great in your mercy how great in your love in your saving power Hallelujah, hallelujah hallelujah we rejoice oh god how great you are hallelujah. rejoice praising you you are our savior and messiah how great thou art lord praise you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you lord in the second decade we will meditate on luke chapter 7 verse 13 but the lord looked at her he felt compassion for her and said to her do not weep jesus looked at the widow of naim whose only son was dead and this woman in despair was crying jesus looked at her and said do not weep and that compassion ended up in a miracle the dead son got up to a new life there are parents here there are parents here in tears because of their children children who are going astray children who are not studying well children who are not responsible with life children who are not settled in life children who did not get a job yet children who are sick parents in tears to every one of them jesus is saying do not weep it's not a cheap consolation it's the word of the master the almighty god your cause of tears he takes care of of your children to the lord offer your sorrow your anger your anxiety to him and wait to hear this do not weep praying for our children parents let us pray this decade eternal father I know 
Isaiah 54:13 Your children shall be taught by the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children The Lord has taken charge of your children Let every parent look at Jesus with faith and trust surrendering their pain their anxiety their love and concern for the children so sing together take me take me lord as i am and bless me that i may love my children that i may bring them up in your care in your love Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Praise Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. For saving Worship my children. Lord. Hallelujah. We entrust Hallelujah. them to you, O oh God. Hallelujah. You are the Savior. Praise you, Father. Praise Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. In this third decade, we want to pray on Luke chapter 22, verse 61. Jesus turned and looked at Simon Peter. Simon Peter had denied Jesus. I don't know him a third time. And that's when Jesus was being taken to be tried early morning. And Jesus turned and looked at him. Not a look condemning of finding fault, of putting Peter to shame, but a look of compassion, Simon, I love you. Simon, I love you. As you are, with all your weaknesses, I love you. And Simon could not respond then. But later, Simon Peter did respond, Master, I love you more than everything else. Every time we made a mistake, if we had turned eyes to Jesus, we would have seen Jesus turning and looking at us with compassion, forgiving us. Since we did not see that forgiving look of Jesus, Guilt, God accumulated in our hearts. Sin, God strengthened, empowered in our hearts. Jesus is looking at us now. Offer to him every sin of your heart, every sinful addiction, the powers of sin you are not able to conquer. The Lord's look of compassion melted the heart of Simon Peter and made him ready to tell the master, I love you more than everything else. Look at Jesus. Look into the eyes of the Lord and tell him, Jesus, I love you more than everything else. And pray this third decade, asking for his mercy 
to flow upon every moment of our sin all the powers of our sinfulness Forty-four, twenty-two. I have blotted out as a thick cloud your transgressions, and as a cloud your sins. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. That thick cloud, heavy on your heart. The past experiences you are guilty of, you are angry of, you are sad about. people hurting you people letting you down the thick cloud covering your heart the lord the lord has blotted out the lord has cleared your heart to love to find love in him and to make your life peaceful the peace that only the lord can give us hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. praise you jesus hallelujah. thank you thank lord you, jesus. hallelujah hallelujah praise you jesus we praise you father we worship you lord praise you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless, hallelujah. You, bless you lord hallelujah. bless you lord praise you hallelujah people let you down the people you trusted let you down the people you respected used you and threw you away that thick cloud of painful memories the lord is blotting out setting you free turn to him turn to the lord and tell him jesus you are my everything truly he's everything 
He will never let me down. He will never fail me. He manifested his love, proved his love by dying for us. Lord, you are my everything. Let's all sing together. He is my everything with great joy in our hearts. He is my everything. We want to make ourselves stand on Calvary and look at Jesus. We are told Jesus turned and looked at John and said, Here is your mother. Jesus looked at Mary and said, Here is your son. Jesus giving his mother to be my mother, my brother, my sister, your mother. The hands of Mother Mary are upon you, accepting you as her child, dear child. Accept Mary as your mother, a mother immaculate, full of grace, always loving, Accepting Mother Mary as our mother, let's pray this decade.
34 verse 6 look to him and your faces will be radiant with joy with mother mary standing close with mother mary holding you close to her look at jesus he died to save you your faces will be radiant with joy Blood and water flowed down. The heart of Jesus was pierced open. Blood and water flowed down, falling upon John, Mother Mary, now upon you, my brother, my sister, the Holy Spirit, the mercy of God falling upon us. It's all sing together as we gather in this place opening our hearts and waiting for the Holy Spirit to descend upon us with great trust in the Lord that our faces will be radiant with joy. Our hearts will rejoice in the power of the Spirit. Let us sing together. As we gather, may your Spirit work within us. As we gather, may we glorify your name. Knowing well that as our hearts begin to worship, we'll be blessed because we came. We'll be blessed because we came. As we pray the last decade, let us surrender our lives to God as Mother Mary did. She did it. At the moment of Annunciation, she did it. On Mount Calvary, not able to understand why her son had to be condemned and crucified, despised, she could not understand. There are many things we have not understood. We are not understanding in our life, but everything is in the plan of God for our salvation. Mother Mary, standing beneath the cross, whispered, Here I am, your handmaid. Let it be done to me according to your word. There is surrendering our life to the Lord pray this last decade
sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. blessing of the lord looking into the eyes of god tanto merco
given them bread from heaven having in itself all delight let us pray lord jesus christ you gave us the eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death may our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the father and the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit the Paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God Mary most holy. Blessed be the great mother of God Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and His saints. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Divine Retreat Center presents to you a collection of spiritual masterpieces to enrich your journey with Jesus. How dear are you to those who know you? What is your true value? Discover how God looks at you. In this best seller, you are precious to me. Life could have led you to several challenges and failures. Have you given up on yourself? 
presenting to you the empowering truth of God's word that we are more than conquerors, sure to give you that winning difference. Are all religions equal? Presenting the new release In Search of the Absolute that presents a critical analysis of this philosophical question. Life is a rich experience of the providence of God. Green Pastures, Still Waters is a collection of spiritual reflections that reveal how the shepherd leads us to the great promises of peace and fullness of life. The Church invites us to contemplate the saving love of God presented in the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus. Divine offers moving meditations that will lead you to look to Jesus in the way of the cross. No greater love is a compilation of spiritual reflections that points out to us the incomparable love of God and the daring response of being Christian. When life seems impossible, God offers the Holy Spirit, power from above, a compilation of scripture-based reflections to help us understand and experience the promise of the anointing.